Hello guys, Sunday morning, uh, nice and early. Um, possibly two car boots today. Um, so we'll see, the weather's nice. I've just got here at the boot. Looks really big, so fingers crossed. We'll get some stuff, we'll have a look round, um, try and get some filming while we're going round, and then see what we get at the end of it. Let's do this. the boots? 20 pound the, the, the 20 pound boots. Pound. Okay, back at uh, Extreme Builders HQ, the uh, container. Yes, um, two boots. Um, first one did really, really well at. Second one not so good, um, but we still got some stuff. Um, bit of a mixture of stuff. Done some, done really well on on a couple of things. Uh, a couple of things, meh, not quite so good as I thought, um, but a bit of variety of stuff. Um, second car boot, the only things I picked up were this, uh, Wilson uh, putter, golf putter. It's uh, it's brand new, sealed. Um, I bought that and this Callaway driver. Callaway driver's a, an X-Hot, but it's got a broken shaft. Now... If you're buying golf clubs, don't always let that put you off if it's broken. Um, the shaft is easily removable. Um, there's a like a, a screw in there with a, a, a Torx head. Just undo that and the head and, and, and the shaft comes off. Not a problem at all. I paid £8 for the Callaway. Um, I'll take the shaft off. I did have some shafts, but I think I've sold them all. But even so, the head itself will sell for about £25. Um, so... Sometimes you see clubs, the head might be smashed. The shaft can be worth 50 quid. So don't always get put off if something's damaged or broken. That to me is not an issue. For eight pound to 25, I'm still gonna make some decent money. If I've got a shaft still lying around somewhere, then that could be an 80, uh, 85 pound driver. So not too bad. The putter, um, I pay 40 for the putter, which is quite a lot, um, but it is it is brand new and it's um, still got the, the, the cellophane on the head, as I showed. These can go for up to £89.99 on eBay, new, um, so I'm going to list it for that. Um, I don't see why I won't get it, so 
sometimes you have to pay up, but the returns um, make it worth it. She also threw in some golf balls, some uh, bridge stones, probably sell them for about four quid. Um, so not too bad. That was it from the um, second car boot I went to. The first car boot was a bit more successful. Um, I started off and found this. This is a map lay flat um, black edition bait cooler bag. It's like a double bag. So the top comes off and the bottom off. Um, it's for fishing bait, keep your bait cool. Or I suppose you could put your sandwiches in it if you wanted to. Um, I paid £4 for that, which is an absolute bargain. Um, no, they're about 45 Used, they can sell for about 20 to 25 But that may well be kept because I've just started fishing again. And I need something to put my bait in, so I might keep that myself. Um, found some Toy Story Bucket of Soldiers. These are always worth picking up. Um, the back of the box is absolutely laid in, so I think it's complete. I will double check. Three pounds for that, um, and that can sell for 15 to 18 pounds. So, a uh, nice little pickup there. From the same stall, I found this vintage Thermos cool box. I think it's more for keeping um, bottles in, but um, it does the job as anything else. Um, it's in really, really good condition. Does need a wipe out inside. Again, three pound for that. Um, the same one on eBay has sold um, for between twelve ninety five to nineteen ninety five. So from three pound to fifteen ish, not too bad. Um, I then found a bloke sending uh, a camera, um, so I bought the camera. The camera itself was not particularly successful, um, but what came with it really is. The camera itself is just a Sony, um, an older Sony digital. It's a DSC W35. It's got the box, it's got all of the cables, it's got three memory cards, a memory strip duo, and several other things. A nice little Samsonite case. Um, I paid £10 for the camera. Now, the camera is probably only worth 12 to 15 so not very good at all. But I'll split out the memory cards, get some extra money for them. But what was with the camera um, that I got extra um, was quite successful. Two things. Firstly, this Spigeon um, extendable Bluetooth um, selfie stick. Uh, that was two pounds. No, they would have been about 35 to 40. I might put that on for about 15, not too bad. But the star of the show is this. It's a Joby Gorilla Pod. I think this is the 3K, because I've got a 3K myself, and this is pretty much identical. I don't know how you can tell, actually. There must be written on it somewhere, but I'm pretty sure it's a 3K because of the size of it. It's too big for the 1K. That was three pounds. Now, I, as I say, I've got one of these. I bought mine used off eBay, and I paid forty nine ninety nine, and that was a reasonably good price. Um, you can get more for them. Um, it's in really good condition. It all works. Um, so yeah, three pounds of fifty, bosh. If not, maybe I could use it for putting the phone on, seeing as it's currently balanced on a book and some denim jackets. That's how quality we are on this channel. The only other pickup of the day was also a very good pickup, and it was tennis rackets. I bought a load of these last year, tennis rackets, and they were really successful. Um, I've not got two though. There's two there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine. So nine all in um, tennis rackets. Uh, they all range from uh, different brands, Head, Dunlop, um, and Babalay. So, and they're all decent rackets. This one, for instance, is a, a Dunlop Tour Carbon. Um, nice, actually. That feels lovely. That does. Not that I'm a Tennis player myself, obviously. Um, but yeah, so we've got heads, Babalays, Wilsons. That one's nice. 
Wilson K K Factor. Um, they're all, as I say, nice, nice, nice rackets. What's this one? This one looks awesome. In fact, I think this one's got two in. Oh, bonus, it has got two in. So we've actually got 10 rackets. These is a another Wilson K Factor and a Wilson 6-1 Comp. Sound all right? So 10 rackets. He wanted three pound a racket. There was nine, so that would be 27. He let me have them for 25 for all of them. Absolute, absolute bargain. Um, I've only checked on two of them. The ones I've checked on is the 1K Factor and this Roger Federer um, Double Beam Wilson. And they all sell, well, well, these two sell for between 20 to 30 pounds each used. Um, I'm presuming they're all decent quality, so I'm all I'm going to say twenty pound per racket. I've got ten of them. Do the math: um, two hundred pounds from twenty five pounds. Um, the sun's out. Um, people are wanting to play um, sports. Tennis is really popular. I mean, that is absolutely stunning. That is. That's a head IS four. Smarter racket, better game. That is absolutely beautiful. Didn't my head anything? Carbon fiber. Beautiful. That one might be even worth even more. Bosh. So that was it. Not a huge amount of stuff, but some really good stuff. Um, I'm really pleased with that Joby to find one of them um, for, for three pounds. Well, absolutely awesome. The rackets, they'll go easy, easy to list, easy to post. Bubble wrap, obviously, bit of cardboard. And off it goes. Um, so all in all, spent a little bit of money. But the returns are going to be really good. So I had a really good day today. Uh, enjoyed it. As you saw from the video, um, people aren't really following the rules at the car boats. The one-way system was non-existent, unfortunately. But now things have been relaxed. You can be a bit closer to people. So it, it's, it's a lot more comfortable. Um, so, yeah, all good. Um, I'm hoping to get out to the midweek boots this week because the wife's working from home this week. So hopefully I can get out to them. Charity shops are reopening, so I'll be doing some of that as well, hopefully. I've got a massive Facebook pickup today from a friend of a friend. Well, no, a friend. Um, and that looks really good. Uh, so I'll be picking that up hopefully today. And, uh, yeah, we'll keep on going. Uh, we'll see what we can get. We'll make some money and we'll share it with you guys. So thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for the subscribers. Really appreciate it. Like the video. Shows that you're watching. Um, any comments drop me a line um, and we'll go from there so thanks for watching guys see you next time take it easy Ta -da.